Hi, John here. Um, today it's Tuesday, 23rd of January 2018. I just want to make sure my camera's on. I've had a bad habit of not putting it on. Right, it's recording. Right, now, today I've finished all the books, binding them all up here ready for apostolizing and to be notarized tomorrow on Wednesday I go and see the lawyer a approved notary uh, lawyer to seal the documents as authentic and I'm the author and I'm real me and what I say is true and nothing but truth so help me God the author no, it's me. I think he did a search on me yesterday. I left a message to ring me. He didn't ring me. I called him today, this morning. And so I'm glad to say that <clears throat> he's going to meet me tomorrow. And what the cost will be, I've just got a, a costing from him. And it should be fitting the afternoon, afternoon with him to go over the documents and to seal them and with a letter to my private investigator Graham Ellen at the same time. So in that process uh, I've got a box here I've called into the post shop on my way back from the bus station just now I went to Mungri for nothing to go and get some kinners or sea urchins, sea eggs and they said it's tomorrow Wednesday I thought it was Wednesday so I've got an extra day up my sleeve. I've got to copy all these, screen print the whole lot of those documents, 32 of them, some big ones, screen print the whole lot of them, and then um, take them in to the lawyer, then take them across to Grey Maryland the following day, and then he'll cite them and a letter to him from the lawyer, and also, after that, I send them in the box down to Wellington, the Internal Affairs and the Foreign Affairs Office for apostoly um, seal on all those documents to Britain, UK, <coughs> Westminster, Parliament, Gibbon, as British Empire. Partner. I'm going as the surrogate King George IV, King William IV, King William III, surrogate King's commercial trading landowner, bank, magistrate. That's what I'm acting as native land commissioner of these Moriori, <coughs> Manukau, <coughs> Maori, Crown native land titles in New Zealand British titles and Horitakuri native D title in Taheke Marae native magistrate court. I'm going to be operating on Friday again in Te Ungawaka Marae native magistrate court a final settlement hearing over those who have accused some of them and all of the original defendants that has no limit on the time as far as I'm concerned no time limit on bringing them to justice because they've rolled it over and over and over and over as long as they're in a contract with the Queen I'm in an unbroken sovereignty contract private with King George the fourth King William the fourth King William III, British Emperors of Commerce, King of Commerce, King of the Sea, Admiralty, Martial Law, State of Emergency that I'm putting right over this country on Friday as John Key threat the government of Wellington, Jacinda Ardern and her Labour government, a threat and 
Waitangi National Trust threat and a New Zealand government threat. Queen Elizabeth II, New Zealand Parliament and Cabinet threat against our national security, financial investment bank interests over these lands that they have not got the clear title yet. They are trying to settle with their Maori iwi Crown Corporation which is themselves. They have no legal title to these lands against what I'm holding here as the British legal title deeds. Those deeds belong to us. The paramount chiefs or equal to the King of Britain, the paramount chief in legal terms is the King commercial landowner of this country in capital letters King of Commerce jurisdictions of Admiralty Court Martial Law. <coughs> We're putting a state of emergency declaration of war on this country as a state of threat against our national interests and that of Britain. In our seabed titles of discovery of Maui Crown in the Pacific Islands <coughs> and Captain Cook and King George IV, King William IV, King William III and St. Mary's Church and St. Patrick's Church, eight point star on his flag and the flag itself as the jurisdiction of all admiralty in the world of a king. We hold that title as the receipt in this flag given to us the 20th of March 1834 on dry land. It is not a flag on the sea with a bar and a dock in a courthouse. No, we have straight dry land courts anywhere on these lands and in the world under this flag in 250 countries. So that's what I'm saying. In all honesty, swear by God Almighty and Moai, Earth, God's Spirit. That's our title memorial, standing in London, standing in Dunedin, here with the crown on his head. That's the Earth crown of the world. It was Queen Victoria that put these Moais around the world. And in London, she put that one there. And in Queen Elizabeth, the one in Dunedin. That's my title. Every other native can speak for themselves, but that's my Wānoa Uata Maui DNA memorial title to my ancestors. Okay, so you'll notice all the books. I'll go through them one by one tomorrow with you before I go and see the lawyer. And I'll make sure you are the first to see them before they are sealed so that no one's going to doubt what I'm saying and it's disclosed, discovered as Moai Crown creator of the world, God world. All the documents are there in colour and black and white for your perusal. I'll be screen printing them and I'll put them on our website when I get a chance. All of them all of them I'll be scanning soon and apostolize. I will apostolize, I will put them in a folder and apostolize those documents and the acts of King William the Fourth, the acts of King William the Third and the acts of King William King George the Fourth as well. There is a lot of information in thirty two books. I've counted 32, there might be one extra, but I'm saying that's the law. I'm making law and law contract, commercial contract under our Admiralty flag, not 
the Vatican's flag, not the Queen's flag, but our own Admiralty in our own native land commissioner jurisdiction of authority, legal authority. Okay, I'm going to ring Barry Mallet now. Hopefully I'll get him and you'll hear what he has to say. He just asked me to get a letter. Here he goes. Oh, <coughs> what happened there? That, that one's off too. So I'll have to ring his land number. Okay. That number was wrong as well. I'll, I'll ring his land number. I think he's got a new number. Oh, that one's gone off, so I'll ring this one. Here we go. That one's not working. Oops, nothing's... Nothing there either. Hmm, this is strange. Okay, we'll try another one. This is strange. Oh, here's another one here. Oh, here's a better one. I think he changed offices. That's good. Seven. Six. Seven. I think I might get him this time. Now, here we go. Hey, is that you, Graham? No, it's me. Oh, is Graham not is there? Graham Hallett? No, sorry. Oh, is he there? Is that, is that where he works? Or can I get him through there? What's his name, sorry? Say again. Graham Hallett. I'm just ringing oh, the number here. Graham Hallett, yes, sorry. No, look, he's overseas at the moment. Um, who's, who's speaking? John Wanoa. Are you acting in his place? Is, is uh, no. What's in relation to John? He's got all my documents for the case I'm doing and he was told me to get a, a letter from the uh, lawyer, so I've got that now, uh, all, all arranged for tomorrow. Okay, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a text message with um, our, with his email address. Yes. So it would be in touch with him, he's currently in the States. Oh, okay, so... Um, is there someone that can um, fill in for him here while he's yeah, over there? Potentially, I just need to, I just need to liaise with him. That's okay. Can, yeah, if, if you can just email him, yep. um, and then he'll get in touch with you fairly quickly. That'll be fine. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll send you a message on this phone number with his email address, and then if you can just email him and he'll get in touch with you quickly. Yeah, so, okay, your name is? It's Mike. Mike, Mike. Dylan. Dylan. Dylan, G-I-L-L-A-M for Mike. Dylan. Okay, so uh, oh, well, I'll wait for your email. I think you might have my email address. If... No, I'll, I'll send you a text message. Oh, yes, I see. Email address. I you see. Just, you just email. Okay, thank you. No okay, you. bye. Bye. He's overseas. Oh, dear. I'm hoping that this guy or someone will fill in for him.
because I know he's a busy man and um, he may relate to um, um, things that someone else is filling in for him. That's all that was necessary while he's away. They might act for him. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I've got a... Oh, uh, here we go. I've got to get this right. No, I, could, I can't... Um, give him... So he might be able to action something because I need some quick answers. I've got somebody in his office or filling in for him, which is okay. Um, his name is Mike Gillen. Gillen, that's good. And I've got his office number. That's what it's got here. So I've managed to. Those other numbers have gone off, these other numbers. Graham has got all my information, but I see. I'll read this after, I'll show you in a minute. I just need to get on my letter afterwards and get on to that. Um, hmm. This call address, level one. Twenty two, twenty eight. Okay. That's it. Right, I'll get on to him shortly. Oh, this is email there, yeah, so I can just flick him a note and I'll let you know how that goes. So that's my private investigator, Graham Aylett, who has my documents since 2012 on record. And so I'm going to do that shortly. Uh, at the moment, uh, I've got to, I've got <coughs> two days, Wednesday and Thursday, to wrap it up, wrap up everything that I'm doing for the court hearing on Friday. So I'll put something together as a state of emergency on Friday. Declare declaration of war, state of emergency on Friday against the financial institution that's a threat to the British Empire, which is me. I um, speak for me and the British Empire and the three kings I've just told you and the three chiefs. Okay, there's Morris and myself. Morris is looking after Horitikuri. There can't be anybody else without a deed. A title deed that's live. He's on the land that's got ten titles with ten deeds. Okay, so that's how it works. He's done a lot of work to get that together. So anybody that's poo-pooing um, Morris Lobo, Baker, you better think twice because he's sitting on the titles that matter. The whole lot. All the titles of Hori Tikuri. That's the whole. 
Bay of Islands all the way up down to Aorau Magistrate Court, Native Court in Helenville. And that's Ref Ref Monaco from there, down the other way. All the way through to the South Island. Hooked up to Te Rawakato Wharehire in Monaco. Title to the whole country. Locked, sock and barrel with Maui. The statue memorial. The memorial of Maui. Is standing in Dunedin with the crown in his head. That is my title to this country. The crown. Okay? And he's standing in London. The Queen whopped his hat off, his crown off his head, and stuck her metal one on her head. Now I'm going there to stick his crown back on his head and put some eyes in them so he can see everybody. I've put the eyes back in already on our seal. Our seal has got the Moai's eyes in so he can see all the fraud going on. That's God's title to this whole planet. And I've said that enough times, but I just want to tell you the good news that we're going ahead with all these documents here. Those ones and the other ones in the bag under there. I've got me a box over there. Looks like a vegetable box, but I'm going to stick them all in there and they go in two halves. So I can squash all those books in there and those ones. Right, there might be a couple of other ones around, lying around, to put in and get them weighed up at the post office. They couldn't tell me how much, so I'll just have to go on how much it is. Otherwise, I'll take them down, I'll go down with them, the box. I'll go down on the rail and take them down myself. You see, you can hop on the bus and go down on the rail. And, uh, but it's quicker to post them down as long as because it takes seven days to get back, to get apostolized and sent back. So I'm going to um, methodically go through each book with you, however many YouTube videos it takes to explain what's happening in those books on the pages so that you get to see this is a native court operating. A native magistrate, bank, creditors, court of the sheriff, the sheriff's court as well, and the court of session of King William the Third and King William the Fourth and King George IV, acts of Westminster Parliament. We have the right to use any of those acts because our continuity of sovereignty is unbroken right till now, but this day it's still live with our contract, private. Okay, so that's all I want to say. I don't want to add any more to that. Um, so we'll swatch you later, and uh, I'll get on with it. So, have a nice day. Bye.